Ma'am, what is the difference between limitation, delimitation, and assumption? So let's talk about limitations first. Limitations are potential weaknesses of the study which are not in our control. These can be associated with the research design, sampling strategies, time, and certain other factors. In addition, limitations can impact on your study findings, conclusions, and generalizations of the study. So these should be clearly stated in your study so that the results may not be misinterpreted by the readers. For example, in quantitative research, small geographic sample or sample representation can be a limitation. A set of good reliable instrument can be a limitation in your quantitative research. Then some culture aspects may also impact or be a limitation in your quantitative research. In qualitative research, it may be data saturation point or other things which are not in your control. Such as in my PhD study, when I was conducting children interviews and their teachers were present in the same room. So this is limitation of my study that children might answer all questions under the pressure of their teacher's presence. Now, I'm going to discuss about delimitations. Delimitations are set by the researchers or authors themselves. These are the boundaries or scope set by the authors to meet study objectives and goals. This means that these are in the control of researcher. Delimitations are mainly associated with study theoretical or conceptual framework, research questions or hypothesis. In a way, delimitations are not as much as why I did this, but rather why I did not do it like this. The delimitation section of your study can explicate the criteria of participants to enroll in your study, the geographic region covered in your study, and the profession or organizations involved. Moreover, the aspects or variables covered in your study also determine the scope of your study. Such as in my PhD study, I delimited scope to information literacy skills and practices. However, other aspects such as assessments, instructions were not in the scope of my study. As far as assumptions are concerned, Leedy and Ormode explained assumptions are so basic that without them, the research problem itself could not exist. Basically, these are the things which are not in your control. However, you need certain assumptions to proceed your work. These things are accepted to be true, mostly discussed in discussion section of the study. An example of it can be that you assume about your study that respondents will answer all questions honestly. It is also important to know here that where we should write these aspects. Make a separate section about limitations in the final or conclusion chapter of your thesis or if you are writing an article, make a separate section before conclusion. For delimitation, suitable place is after introduction or statement of the problem. I hope you are now able to differentiate between these interrelated concepts which are not similar to each other. Thank you.